<laughs> oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. <laughs> he fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get Point for Dunn back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. Uh, Burke. Been a while. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Nasty and everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. The fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. They want my help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidun back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. No, fuck off. I've all the chalky bastards once already. Look where I got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You're less than that. You're less than God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up. The coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Anyone's killing that fucking Marcano. That's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. You have more stones in the lakes if you are a fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your cane. Yeah, caught ten run at the first sign of trouble. You always have. You always will. <sighs> Fucking keys. Hands on the dashboard, motherfucker. What the Christ you think you're doing? You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first, the chalky or the mick. before you got the palers all horn up for us? Pull over here. Nah, get the fuck out of my ride. Come around me place in a bit. We got more to discuss. Back so soon, then? Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? He's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow, head of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White mule. Allergen. Pochain. Moonshine. You ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind of's not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. Then that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. barbieri has gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I run that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribby. Drags in there. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh -huh. but once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'd either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, it'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, you know it once again. A nation once again. A 
and Ireland long, a province be a nation once again. Surprised to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half-cocked. Fuck. Man, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass Country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills? Uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Rumor is, he's got a map hid somewhere for his drivers. Hmm. Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. Let's make it happen. Hold on. Can't you see him on the phone? Anybody else here to ask? You got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Running for cover! I'm coming in and the butcher's going out. What about you? Oh, God damn it! All right, all right, I'm in. Irish will be in touch. Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Over still standard. My boys are on the way. Snatch that slaughterhouse from him, and that fuck Barbieri will have to react. Uh, Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. You bear? Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Nut job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put the hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the Robodo? Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people into shape. But I'm here and one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bear. I'm the one saving you, thieving ass. Let's go. Good lord! That fucking hurts. Sonny's back over at the Robert O. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan shark and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola has hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, here. Yeah? He's got... You could be the Bratwurst King in New Bordeaux if you work for me. How's that sound, Sonny? Sure. I kind of like working here anyway. Good. Burke's boys are gonna reach out. Ooh.
Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Try to put that rabbit dog down. And how did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call him out with a spotlight on the water tower. I'll load it up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? A oh, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. On the left! On the left!
day. I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mint alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Save a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Shall I leave then? I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up. Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times, there was barely any bone left. They'll not leave thee, thy lone one, to pine on the stem. Since the lonely are asleep, in. Go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri. Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Slow. As for you, you show up like Lazarus himself. Name thinking of myself. This chalky bastard is either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invades rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. <laughs> I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You could thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Lincoln it is, then. funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little mend what's busted up inside of us. But it doesn't, does No. No. It doesn't. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help, <laughs> the world fucking got me. It's the sense 
and change it. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, I imagine you'll be wanting your cotton the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But it deals it. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Oh. You'll excuse me. Oh, I have to go to see the Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Thanks for earlier. My old man used to be whip smart. If anyone tried to pull some shit on him, he saw it coming a mile away. Now, fuck. Now he barely knows the goddamn day of the week. Said you could use some help. Some of our boys are down in the bayou. If you could get the shine from them and bring it back, it'd make my life a lot easier. Well, the bayou ain't exactly my favorite place in the world. Come on now, the redneck assholes that live down there just love it when black folks drop by for a visit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't been time for small talk, but... Where you at with all this? All I really want is for everything to go back the way that it was. For Vietnam. Before that night, back when everything felt normal. At least our version of it, anyway. We are the righteously fucked. Danny. Was he in any pain? Did he suffer? Don't. Ain't nothing good coming from that. Who says I need good to come from it? Georgie shot him in the head. Looked like he went pretty quick. God damn it. I hate this fucking town. I better go. Yeah. Okay. Lincoln, just because Bobby Evers dead doesn't necessarily mean this neighborhood is firmly in our control. If he's still got any men hanging around, you should think about clearing them out. And I was just about to have lunch. How'd it go? Fast cars and shine. Was not to like. Word coming down is that some motherfuckers might try to hit you. So watch your ass. Yes, ma'am. 
Guess who I saw coming out of the market yesterday? Denny McGill. No shit, Denny McGill? I haven't heard that name in years. Fucker's married. Four kids. Oldest Rachel is six. Damn. Can you imagine having four kids right now? Not without there being some kind of ransom involved. <laughs> Every time I run to folks like him, they start asking me when I'm settling down, when I'm gonna have a family. <laughs> it always makes me feel like I don't belong. Like there's something wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Hell, look at me. Never knew my parents, don't know a damn thing about who I am or where I came from. That hadn't stopped the world from deciding for me. Keeps finding people who don't give a fuck about any of that. Like when you and me are kicking back, shooting the shit. We just cool. Well, I'm cool. You, on the other hand, are a pretty big fucking dork. A dork? <laughs> what are you, 12? Well, shit, those are the days. I could get shit-faced at night and still ace a math test the next day. <laughs> Listen, Lincoln, there's... Never mind. It can wait. Don't worry about what Denny McGill thinks. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck him. Be careful out there. man you're not messing around so i take it business is good the old man's pissing his pants he's so pleased he's not down the chalky bastard anymore I'm surprised he hasn't petitioned the vatican to have you canonized oh but they don't take requests from the bottom of a whiskey bottle easy now he's not that bad look i appreciate your relationship with him but there are things you just don't get he's an asshole a bastard a selfish prick lincoln I've been seeing someone. Her name's Darlene. Meant to tell you earlier. You gonna say something? Take it that's why Burke's been so hard on you. Then it always stick up for me. But... But he's not here anymore. No. He ain't. So where do you come down on it? Uh... I've never had much of anything, or anyone, and what little I did have was taken away from me. So if there's someone out there, they'll make a difference to me who it is. When I was a little girl, I thought my father hung the goddamn moon. Fuck. He was everything to me. But then one day he gave me this look, like he knew. It broke my heart. The first person to crush me was my own father. You want to turn your back on him, that's up to you. God knows he deserves it. Whatever you decide, just make sure you can live with it. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot-licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. That doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. 
So here's what you need to decide right fucking here and now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know. Second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's see if we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, because I'm just right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing it so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so... Once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't okay. care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. <laughs> I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're in playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam. <laughs> 